What's up, my ninjas? I'm Strident, and I'm coming to you with another video. Today I'm pointing out some of this fan sheep mentality that pisses me off, and this is why I don't really use Facebook. I don't stay on it much because most groups tend to have this problem. And the problem I'm talking about is where if you don't agree with everybody, you're the enemy. So I've mentioned before that uh, Mattel is going to repaint the DCUC, you know, Big Seven mostly, and sell them, resell them for the umpteenth time, this time for $30 a pop under the Superpowers moniker. Because we didn't already have Superpowers mixed in with DCUC, and also because they said they couldn't continue DCUC, so what do they do? They sell us more DCUC, but more of the DCUC that they've already sold us. So you know, I've been vocal. I don't agree with this. I think it's underhanded. It's not cool. They should have just given us more new characters that were not given to us in the DCUC line. And I know it costs money and all that shit, but as you see, they renege on everything that they say. Up until a little while ago, they said we wouldn't be getting a uh, Doomsday Unleashed, but next year they're releasing Doomsday Unleashed. You know what I mean? They said they couldn't do any more DCUC, yet uh, we're looking at DCUC figures under the moniker of Superpowers. They said the replacement for DCUC was going to be the um, Superpowers Ultra. I'm sorry, uh, what were they called? Something Heroes Ultra. God, what were they called? I don't know why I blanked on that. But anyway, they're not doing the Ultra ones anymore, just the regular $10 ones. And it's possible that all might be stopping because they said they didn't sell well enough. This is all coming from Mattel, you know what I mean? And I'm just regurgitating information. So you're looking at these and we're like, shit, at, with the exception of Mitzelplik, we've we, we already got all these figures. So anyway, I stated my opinion after everyone else said what they had to say. You can pause to read these things, but... The overall consensus with a lot of people that saw, read this post, once they realized that it was they were going to be thirty bucks a pop, people were like, "Yeah, no, not for thirty bucks," you know. So, you, you can go through and see all this. Other people are kind of like, "Yeah, not including shipping." That leaves that's about two hundred bucks after shipping for all of them, and there's about seven figures in there because of Calabac or whatever. Um, and we're all like, yo, that's too much. I mean, multiple people pointed it out. And then one guy, you see Curtis Line right here, he says, it is a huge ripoff. But I got to have them all, he says. Okay, now you already can tell from the mentality of the person posting, Mr. Line, that he's one of those people that's making this kind of problem prevalent. This is why Mattel can resell us the same shit that they've already sold us about umpteen times. I mean, how many Batman and how many Superman figures do all of us DCUC people have? And then other people go on to explain why they feel the way they feel and explain, you know, they're, they're not going to pay that. Some people are like, they like the way they look, but they still don't want to pay that amount of money. Some people are saying they're going to get freaking Mego figures because, you know, it's, it's, they're cheaper. Bigger figures, cheaper, and it's a better, you know, deal. Uh, another guy on here, his name is uh, Daniel. You'll see him up here in a second. Um, he goes on to attack, you know, well, not attack, but add to it. And I say, prepare to bend over. This is why we can't have better stuff. Too many of you are thirsty for crap. And that's where it got all crazy. And then he posts that haters gonna hate shit. And I'm like, and sheep will follow. It's the truth. Only people who just don't care and just have disposable income are going to throw money at a corporation. It's not like the corporation is a person. It's a corporation. We shouldn't be giving them that kind of freedom. But he wanted to turn around and do the whole haters going to hate thing. It's played out. The shit's boring. My point is still valid. And I told him, sheep will follow. And he posts another picture. And I point out that, you know, dude admitted that he's being ripped off. But what I'm saying makes me a hater. So he continues with the picks. Yeah, Daniel Pickett. He's got a blog of some sort where he talks about uh, action figures and whatnot. So he tells me I shouldn't disparage others. 
but he's disparaging me back <laughs> because I said that. And this is all because I didn't agree, you know? So, you know, I'm pretty much trying to say to people that we're getting repaints again. If you're cool with it, you're cool with it, but the rest of us are not. And because of people like him, that's why we get this kind of stuff. He keeps on trying to fight my points, and he talks about tooling when we're talking about repaints. And I break it down for him. You can see it above. This other guy jumps in and comes up with his explanation. These are all regulars on the DC Unlimited uh, page, and I've gotten into it with them before. And uh, we were talking about uh, casting for the Justice League film, and for every character deemed black, they wanted Idris Elba to play those characters. So he was going to be John Jones, and he was going to be John Stewart. And I was like, dude, seriously, that's insulting as a black man that you don't know at least one other black actor or one other actor of color that could play the Martian besides the guy that you already <laughs> saw in Thor and you think he could just jump to a DC movie. It's like they had no knowledge about what was going on. Anyway, they said that I should follow the rules and don't disrespect people. And there was no disrespect. But this is the part where I was like, wow. You know? There was a part before this where a dude mentioned some shit about sales figures and shit and how many figures would sell and blah blah blah. And I was just like, it's there's no point. This this is a lost cause and I saw it already. You know? I was lightweight playing with the prepare to bend over, but you know me, I'm truthfully speaking that that's what you're doing. Because as soon as you start throwing money at these companies, they're re willing to take advantage of you. They're going to... I mean, if they can sell the same Superman figure six times, and each of the six times, they slightly change the paint, but it's the same exact figure. They don't even re-engineer the figure. And they charge you slightly higher prices each time. That's why they think they can charge you 30 bucks for the 1980s and the 70s colored Superman. And then a gold one also that's going to be, I think, 50 bucks or some shit like that, unless he's packaged with the others in the, in the case. Like, come on, guys. This is why we can't have nice things. But the cultism part is where they tell me what the rules are and then say you should read the group rules and ob obey them accordingly. Now, by reading everything that was said, didn't I just point out facts? Even the guy writing this said that they're a ripoff, but he's going to buy them anyway. And I'm just stating that I'm not going to. I even point out that we vote with our wallets, like I've told you guys so many times. And like I said, this isn't the first time I've gotten into it with people because I had a difference in opinion. You know what I mean? Because I can hold my own in an argument. There's just a point where it feels like, what's the fucking point if you're not listening to logic or reason? obey the rules it the rules were treat people with respect and don't put down any dc figures any dc figures don't put them down because and, I, and i'm like what they are they do they have are their feelings going to be hurt you know what i mean what's what's the point of that kind of a rule that's stupid you know but this is what we have to deal with i have never been a sheep and i'm not going to start today because of some figures that i don't even want that's the funny part. I just wanted to see if what I said, what I felt, you know, I wanted to see how that would be uh, received by quote unquote fans, you know, just because you're a fan doesn't mean you have to allow yourself to be taken advantage of in any way, shape or form. This dude, uh, Daniel Pinkett, also brought up, you know, cost and tooling and blah, blah, blah. And we know he has connections to people in the toy industry. But he's trying to kind of convince me that I should spend this extra money. He's trying to convince me that it's fine. But I'm like, dude, you do what you want to do. And in the end, he kind of started saying the same thing. But they kept going back at me. And then I, we ended with this because I just gave up. I was like, fuck this shit. This is just stupid. Now, if they have a right to follow these guidelines that are set up within this group, then I got a right to my opinion. And if you read over what I said, and I put it up there on purpose, I don't care about hiding names and all that shit. I want you guys to see just this is exactly how it happened, straight up, real talk. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it's just this fan sheep shit where people just fall in line just because, even when they know it makes no sense. That shit makes me so angry.
you know? I could care less about their comments. It's the concept. You don't have to do this. You don't. But you, you are willingly spreading them butt cheeks and just saying, hey, penetrate me, I'm over here. So anyway, look over it. Maybe it's for a laugh. Maybe it's just for awareness. Whatever. Peace outside.